All right, welcome back to another episode of working on a 1971 C10 in Spanish gold. So what we're going to do this week, and I've talked about this for a while, I'm working on the top of the truck, the cab top. We've come a long way. We've got this truck running. I still got to do the cab top, put the lights in, and spray in the bed, color match bed liner, which I think will be a cool episode. Then I'm going to do a a video on the Holly EFI I put on. People seem to like those. Again, part of my channel is things you find here you can't find other places on the internet. So I've been looking for stuff on that Holly EFI thing and I can't find a whole lot. So I'm going to cover it. But today we're going to do the drip rail right now for that cab top. It's where the water gets in around the cab and instead of running down the uh, doors and the uh, windshield, the water comes around the track and drips off the back of the cab. Those dry out, they crack, they come apart, it becomes a problem. So there's many ways to do it. And one of the ways I didn't bring out right here, regular seam seal or caulk or silicone, all those things work. It's just a shorter amount of time. So if you use regular like house caulk, it'll work for a year or two. Even though it says 35 year on it, it will shrink. It'll cause water to leak in there. Same thing with the regular silicone. If you have water just standing, laying on silicone all the time, it will tend to peel away a little bit, and the water will find its way past it. So the next step would be seam seal. Okay, that'll work. That's pretty good stuff. Um, there's excuse me, a couple of different kinds out there. Again, what I normal seam seal and a normal caulk gun, not my choice. It doesn't last as long. Then you can go to like a multi-purpose panel bond and two-part that uses this fancy gun right here that costs more than it should for a cut gun. Anyway, you can use this. It works pretty good. And then they make, like 3M makes a good panel bond. That would last a long time. Then there's heavy body seam sealer. If anything, you would go with a self-leveling seam sealer which is what I've got here. 3M makes this self-leveling seam sealer. It's designed for this, almost this exact thing. It's for when you want to put down some seam sealer and you want it to settle in the low spots and level itself off. So that's what we're going to use today. I think I got one open. We're going to jump right over to the truck as soon as I get this loaded in my gun. Um, if you guys don't want to buy one of these, I get it. I guess that one's not open yet. I understand. It, it's expensive. But if you want to do a job, all right, I'm going to need scissors for that, right? If you want to do a job on your truck, and you're going to paint this because it's in that track, let me grab some, some scissors, and I'll show you how this goes together. Um, if you're going to paint it, you go to all that trouble and expense, then it's, it's worth spending a little more on something like this because if that starts leaking, you're going to have to fix it and repaint it anyway. So comes right out of the package. This package has one. It's brand new. Usually, usually they come with two. I mean, they're pretty inexpensive. I've got another pack over there. It's not a problem. But this is how this works. Take this top off. And it's got a resealable end on it, which we won't be using. So it doesn't smell like anything. And you just put these... Oh, wait a minute, you gotta have that. You put these uh, mixer tips on them, and they do exactly that. They mix it. It just goes through a churning. I don't know if you can see in there to see that. This one's colored. Um, there's little tiny passageways in there, and it goes through back and forth through them all until it comes out mixed. Now, I always like waste the first little bit that comes out, but. That's it. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. There's Sometimes there's a large one and a small one. In this particular case, and that's why this gun is made with a large and small, tell that, large and small side. Not important on this one. It's even. But you'll find some of them do that. Just depends on, like, your epoxies. And uh, that's, that's all there is to it. It's just a caulk gun. And let's see if you can see that going through there. That'd be kind of neat. As it mixes... You'll see it come out of this. It's the same color, basically. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can see how it's filling up. 
then as we go farther, it'll just stir it. All right, I'll set this down and we'll uh, we'll get over to the truck, get you set up where you can see me. And uh, you only get one shot at this, one try, one attempt, just like a lot of things in life with these cars and trucks. You don't get multiple tries. This is kind of your shop tour for the day. That's all you're going to get. Just a short one. If you look real quick, you can see all my junk. Now, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to set you way up high and tilt you kind of forward. And hopefully, you're going to be able to see pretty good. I'll get you readjusted when I get up there on a the truck if I can reach. Can you see it? Looks like you can see it. I'm doing the best I can. Hey, that turned out all right. It's just like I knew what I was doing. No, it was luck. I mean, jump up in the back. No, I don't want to do that. And I don't have my steps ready. We're going to start right in here. We come right around this side and keep going right around that side. The reason we do this, I have started them in the middle and worked your way out. There's a small problem with that. It will set up a little bit before you get back to the other side. And it just, you can notice it's all. It's not bad. But you can see a little, oh, a little overlap when you do that. So we're going to start right over here on this side. Now, when you start on this end, realize it's going to run that way. So be prepared for a small drip. GM, believe it or not, had a small drip on there right from the factory. See them that way. I usually put a little more than I probably should. But I don't want it to leak. Is more better? I don't even know if more is better. We're going to leave that. We can probably come back to it. And I start off by going back and forth a little bit. And as I get going, I just fill her up. I'm always afraid I'm going to run out, and I keep a spare around just for that reason. But uh, I lay her in there kind of heavy. Heavy, smooth, go slow. You don't want to fill the track completely. Just leave a little lip on the front, and the rest will settle in where it belongs. Don't worry about air bubbles. I, sometimes you'll have them. They usually work themselves out. On the self-leveling stuff anyway. Just try to keep your your bead as even as you can. I'm always nervous doing this. Like I said, you get one shot. I think a tube of this stuff is like 40 bucks. So you kind of hate to even think about ripping it back out. But just stay after it. Even. I aim it towards the outside of the rail because the rail's tipped in a little bit. So it, it will tend to flood in towards the roof panel. You don't have to be so concerned with getting enough on the outside that way. Again, I overthink a lot of this stuff. You can just pump it in there. It's going to settle right into every little nook and cranny and low spot that there is. And if you have any holes, I suggest you don't. But if you have any holes... It will run down in the holes. If you got one over your dash panel, guess what? It'll leak right down in there and lay on the dash. Ask me how I know. Or don't ask me how I know, actually. <laughs> All right, well, it's going pretty good. This is clear, but there's enough shine and everything to it. It's a little cloudy where you can see it. No, I'm at about a third. And I'm not a quite a third done so I'm getting nervous I've got another tube we're gonna fill her up good even if I have to use a half tube more one of these containers packages tubes twin tubes we're gonna call them. one of these will do an entire truck if you do it right I've done them and almost always it works out this one I might be filling a little higher just because I really wanted the paint to turn out nice on it. So I might I might run out. Yeah, now I gotta work backwards. I guess you could push it, but I like pulling it. I might run out, but I got another two. I've already said that, so forgive me. I'm a little again, a little nervous. I don't care how many times you do this, it's just like painting. You uh you're concerned with having it off, doing it right. Oh, went over the front. That's not good. Twice. It's all right. Got covers for that reason. Just 
Just keep working it. Now the front's a little wider. Um, I forgot about this. So you will have to kind of go back and forth, kind of like you're stitching. I mean, it'll probably settle, but that's how I like to do it. And uh, all right, here we go. It's it's not comfortable. I'm not doing, I'm not that smooth today. Why? I think I can get away with it. We're going to jump ahead. Not the best idea. To the center. And we're going to fill that and work our way back. This is, it's, it's plenty cool in here today. So I think I can get it leveled up a lot better. Before it uh, set, sets up on me. I think I've done a better job than this before. Go figure. It really doesn't take a lot to seal this. I just like it filled a little bit more than a little flat bead on the bottom. You certainly don't want to do this out in the sun, believe me. All right. We're looking good. I know it's clear. I know you probably can't see a whole lot, but this just kind of give you the idea how it works and how I do it. I wish I was left-handed sometimes, but ambidextrous works. Look at dripping everywhere. Gracious. Only one I'm on video. All right, we're going to come back in here. It's a little low. It looks good up there, though. Just kind of come in here with another little bit. I think I hit the right temperature today. I've been putting this off. I like it between 60 and 65-ish. And this stuff will settle right down nice. It doesn't cure up fast. And you won't get seams where you start and stop. Ideally, ideally you wouldn't start and stop. But All right, that's it's pretty good. A little more in here. I don't know how to make this any more exciting for you. I'm nervous. Get in there. That's looking good. That dripped way down there. Hope that don't drip on my car. Hold on, I gotta check. That run a lot farther than I expected. Yeah, it went down on the paint. All right, well, here we go. You guys get to see screw up time. They say make a little dam at the bottom. Oh, right now my fresh paint. I don't know how to clean that off. They say make a little dam at the bottom. And had I done that, I wouldn't be saying dam. Uh, just to catch it in case it's thinner or doesn't set up as quick as you'd like. And naturally that dripped right on my paint. So bear with me, folks. I'm going to run around here and get some paper towel. Get that off. I, I'm really upset about that. I bet you that won't come off. Doesn't look like it wants to. Leave a shiny spot. Well, it might be something I have to rub off later. Did I say later? Because I got that stuff drying right now. We're going to call that wiped up enough. Oh, darn it. I will make sure I put a little dam on the other side to make sure I don't have that problem. But hey, we got it. We fixed it. We caught it. Yeah, I don't have my gloves on, so it's on my hands. <laughs> All right, I'm coming back. We're going to keep going. You know, we're limited on time here. Did I go far enough? Let's make sure I got everything filled up here. Right to the front. Right to the back. It looks good. Other than that, running off the end. All right, going to the other side. We're half done, folks. Just hang in there. And I'll get you up close view of this, maybe when it dries, so we can kind of see how well it settled in. And you can still see it. At least now I'm going to be right-handed. All right. Go right back where we started. Just past halfway on my gun, so i got to kind of pay attention, not use too much. I'm going right in front of the welt. 
which is where the roof is welded to the front. And that's pretty much where it's going to leak if it's going to leak. Way better radiated. If you're ambidextrous, this is a great job for you. Now, I am going to paint this so it's not terrible if there's a seam. But no, that's, that seam's coming right together. When I say seam is where I started and stopped. Sometimes I do these in the summer. You just don't have cool enough days. Try and get it in the morning when everything's pretty cool, but you don't want moisture on it. So it's kind of tricky. Again, it's self-leveling, so it's not an absolutely necessity that you uh, put it on evenly. But you're going to have a much nicer look if you, the more even you put it, the better. That's all I can say. Uh, Getting nervous, I'm going to run out. I know I'm not going to run out. Relax. These corners, for some reason, are some of the worst. I think it leaks in the front more than anything. A little wide right in these, this outside corner, so I'll go back and put a little bit more in the center. It's just, you got to try it. You got to do it a few times before you really get the hang of it. As you see, I kind of screwed up the back of it by not making a dam. I will on this side. Okay, let's take a little break. Of course, that stuff don't stop when I say let's take a break. But All right, let's just make sure we have a, when I say dam, we just put together a little, take some electrical tape back here at the corner. I said electrical tape, I meant masking tape. And you put it where you want it and you kind of make a little trough so that when it, I don't know how to say it. So when it gets as far as you want it to go, it'll stop. I'm trying to think how to do it today. It's like, I want to be able to see it. This has got paper, runs down on the paper and then I'll have, let's just make sure. Taking the time now, getting this one right. You just want to put something on here to stop it. It can be nothing more than a piece of tape like this. It's pulled up to a little pucker. And then you can take a knife or something and cut it off later. Just keep it off the paint. You know, I had to do it because <laughs> I'm on camera. It made me look stupid. <laughs> this isn't my first time. But it sure looks like it is. I wonder if I can get away with it. I want a little dot right there. I think it'll be all right. Yep. All right. They say you get better at things the more that you do them. I might prove that scenario wrong. I'm kidding. This is fine. Again, self-leveling. It's going to be. It's going to get in there and be where it needs to be. I think we're going to make her. Afraid we're going to run out, but I don't think so. You notice I'm not talking. I'm nervous. Take my ladder back a little farther. Looking pretty good. I don't drive my vehicles in the rain anyway, not these these trucks, but that's not the point. You want to make sure it ain't going to leak, because you're going to get caught in the rain eventually. You know, water running on your dashboard. I touched up my 72. Uh, I don't remember if I had a half a tube of this or something, and... Uh, I thought, eh, it'll be fine. No, nope, it leaks. We're going to stop there. You can stop higher than I do, and you can come back with regular seam sealer on the low side and tap it in with your finger, do the wet finger game and all that. All right, I got a little more. I was afraid I'd run out. I'm going to fill this trough up a little better. Mm. 
And if I have a little tiny bit left over, I'm going to use it on the bottom of my box. I want to seal some things in there. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get you up there to see it here in a minute. It's looking good, though. And we're going to paint over this, too. When, uh, when it all dries and we get the rest of that done. Well, forgive me. I'm going to jump right in the box. Empty that little bit out the front where it folds. There's a seam there, and I just soon water not get in there. And this self-leveling seam sealer will run right down in that crack real good for me. So being that I got it out, might as well fill this up. I know you can't see. Just hang on. You know what I'm doing, right? Right in the front of that box where the floor meets the front panel. Get that filled in nicely all the way across. That's where all your water goes. And there is uh, drain holes at the corners. So it's, it's designed for that water to run along the front of that track. Well, I have plenty left over. What was I worried about? So it's good that you watch all the way and see that there's plenty of this stuff to do an entire front rail and probably have some left over. Now, I could have went a little thicker with it. wouldn't hurt a thing. Like to fill that trough up nicely, and I think I did. So I'm actually shocked how much of this I've got. It's still going. We'll get you in there to show you that. It's settling down too. It's going to make it look better. You guys don't mind if I finish this up back here, do you? I don't know how much more I got. It looks like it's gone. But we'll run up the side a little bit. When we do the spray in bed liner, it'll probably be better to have a, have this sealed up. We'll use less bed liner that way, trying to seal in the cracks and stuff. Oh, I'm just thrilled at how much extra I got. Of course, I'm just running a small bead in here. And the best thing about this self-leveling, excuse me, this self-leveling on all this is it's going to run right down into any spot the water would go into because it's it's pretty thin, not quite as thin as water, but it'll settle right in all them spots. Good gracious, I'm gonna run out in a minute. I mean, you can fast forward if you want to sit here and listen to me. I'm just getting more, more ahead of schedule now. Gee whiz. That's fantastic. I don't have that cleaned out yet. It's a little, little rust, not dirt or anything. I vacuumed this thing out like five times. Lots of sanding. I got a little bit of body work in the box, but I'm not. I mean, it's a box bottom. It don't have to be. Realistically, it's fine just the way it is. All right, I guess I should have brought you guys back here so you could watch me do this. You can probably see me from that camera. I don't know. How can there be any left in there? Hang in there. I'll do a little over here. I mean, when you pay 40 bucks for a tube of this stuff, you don't want to waste any little bit. So <laughs> you got to understand. I can't help myself. Oh, come on. Get in there. How is there any left? This is incredible. Just making sure it's blowing out. Oh, there it is. It's at the bottom. All right. Now I can get back out and show you guys how that turned out up here. I grab the camera and I'll pull in close. Matter of fact, I'll creak you right up on that ladder. Why wouldn't I? All right, I'll get you down from there. You're way up on the hood. All right, here we go. Check this out. Can you see it? I mean, look at it. Isn't that cool? It's not perfect. It's going to get painted. 
Pretty darn decent though, isn't it? I like it. Smooth. Settling down in there nice. I got a coat on the top of that. That looks pretty good up there too. All right, I got a wet sand that. I got a little spot here I missed somehow. We're going to sand it and find some of those bumps and divots and stuff that was up there. And then later on in the week, I will, uh, I'll guide coat it. I'll, I'll show you guys that. You're not real big on a lot of body work, but when we guide coat it and put these lights in, that'll, that'll, that'll be cool stuff. So short video again, as usual. I've been running short ones because I'm star messy. Doing so many different things and these short videos are kind of nice to do. You guys aren't into a full video with me yet. When I get the truck done, we'll go through it and do a long video on some things with it, how it runs, how it works. Um, a couple of my next videos are going to be, excuse me, a couple of my next videos I'm going to do, I've got a little more uh, seam seal to show you. We'll do the top of that truck. Then I'm going to, my, my big ones coming up are spray and bed liners, color match. I'll show you how we do that and we'll see. We'll see how close to color match it ends up being, but we'll do the color match bed liner and then uh, we'll basically just finish the top of the cab. I just want to do a guide coat for you guys and show you how when you sand that down, it really gets it flat. I'm walking up to this truck, you're going to see on there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it really, really nice and really close. That's enough for today. Appreciate you guys stopping. Hey, by the way, I want to thank the 24 of you, and you know who you are. There's 24 of you people that give me a thumbs up every video, and I really appreciate that. Well, wait a minute. Not a thumbs up. You watch every video, no matter what. And I know they're not all great. So thank you, the 24 of you. You know who they are. You know who you are. I don't know who you are by name, but thank you so much for being a supporter. I got good ones coming. I probably got some okay ones coming, but thanks again. We'll see you guys uh, probably in another week, eh?